Hey guys, it's your boy Filer here today. I'm going to be showing you how to mod the textures of Minecraft using a resource pack. So what you want to do is hit Windows R, open up this little guy called Run, and type in percent sign app data and then a percent sign. Hit OK. Should open up something like this. Click on dot Minecraft, hop into versions, grab whatever version you're making a texture pack for. So 1.18.1, .1, that's the latest version right now. Go in there. Copy the jar, go back to inside the dot minecraft folder and hop in resource packs. Then you want to paste that guy in there, 1.18.1.jar. You want to rename this to a zip. I'll show you what to do in just a second if the dot zip file extension is not appearing. So now we have 1.18.1.zip. Uh, that's the number two because there's already one right there. So 1.18.1.zip. So we have it right here. What we want to do is go like this, type in folder, stop and start typing that in, file explorer options, hit that, go to view, should be a box that says hide extensions from known file types. Uncheck that and it'll stop hiding them, hit OK, reload it, and it should look like this, have a zip after it. Anyway, so you rename jar to zip, hop in here, there should be a ton of stuff. What you want to do is go ahead and copy assets, then pop out of there. Uh, make a new folder for whatever you want your pack to be called. So I'll just call it random pack. Okay, so we'll hop into random pack and we'll go ahead and paste assets into there. Now this will take a long time to paste, but with my laptop, it won't take too long to paste. Okay guys, just got the assets folder pasted in here, no time. Now we'll hop into assets, there'll be all these different things. We want to go into Minecraft, go into textures, there's different textures for blocks, for the entities, for items, for lots of other stuff, but we're going to be modding an item today. So we're going to go in here and find Diamond Sword, there it is. We're going to want to copy it, or you don't have to copy it if you don't want to base your texture off this and you just want to make a brand new texture, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to minimize this window for now and open up GNU Image Manipulation Program GIMP. So this is a very handy program that I use for lots of texture packs, stuff like that. stuff. So I'm just going to say new, and I'm going to make a 16 by 16 file, since that's what most file sizes are so created in this weird color and anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you know to turn this layer off whatever it doesn't matter what I'm doing right now so pretty much just make a thing just make a texture in any texture thing you want make sure you're on the pencil not the paintbrush you're pushing all to do that anyway then you can just start creating stuff in here if you have some other paint program and you know that works then go ahead and use that Hey guys, just whipped up a quick texture here. This texture isn't the best I can do, only use two colors, but it doesn't need to be the best you can do. So anyway, I'm going to hit export as what you should do. Just call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it something random like sword. And then I'm going to export that and just hit export. And then there we go. It should have exported. So... Then you'll go into wherever it exports to, so normally that's somewhere in Documents. You'll grab your sort of thing, whatever you named it, copy that, and hop back into the item folder. Now you want to delete the item that it was, so Diamond Sword, I'll delete that. Then I'm going to paste in the new sort of texture, and I'm going to rename that to diamond underscore sword and then you hit enter and there we go so it has to be the exact same name so some things like a hay bale is actually called a hay block so you need to make sure to get the name like correct so it's not a funny name anyway now that I have our texture in here I can go back right here to where it says assets you want to go right here say new text document put in pack move over here and do MC meta fine if you change it go in here and I'll have it in the description you can paste in um, I'll just paste in my own real quick just popped in this um, I'll have this in the description so you can just copy this and paste it right into the pack that MC meta you just go up here and hit save you can close that out um, if it asks you what you want to open it with just say notepad anyway 
now we have everything sorted out so we'll close all that out and i'll meet you guys in minecraft anyway i'll go into options resource packs just pop the pack on that you're using i'm gonna take that funny one off um there's a random pack i'll hit okay and also make sure random packs at the top of the list or else something else could some other resource pack could override it anyway random pack i'll go ahead and load that guy up should take a while and then eventually your pack will be loaded up so what you want to do is go in uh grab your item that you retextured in my case a diamond sword and i can hold it in my hand it looks like this it looks pretty cool do say so myself um anyway um this isn't obviously the best texture i've ever made but it's okay looking um yeah anyway guys um like sub you know all that probably cave survival is not coming soon it's probably never coming anyway um <laughs> bye guys it's been your boy filer here today um you know you know guys you know how it goes like sub all that stuff and bye guys it's been filer